you have watched the video if you have watched the fake up video I really hope you and guys oh you and guys my beautiful viewers I really hope you guys are having a wonderful morning or afternoon or night to show you guys how I created this I look using this naked 3 palette which you guys would have seen featured in my fake up video I will leave the little click here and you guys can go and check that out so basically if you haven't seen that video but you must go watch it in any way um, this is basically a ripoff or a copy of the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette here to show you guys how I created this purple pink shimmery look using this palette and if you watched the fake up video then you guys would know a bit more about the palette so I would suggest to go and watch that first and then come back to the video so that you're not confused about some of the things that I say or how I use it so go check out that first and then you come right back to see how I create this purple eye look using this naked three palette I really want to warn you guys that the lighting is a bit weird, it's very orangey, it's very cloudy today so the lighting is not the best and um, my camera doesn't really want to work with me with the zoom and things like that so it's a bit blurry at some stages so just a few little disclaimers, not the best or perfect video but I still hope that you guys enjoy it and if you guys would like to see then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I already did all my other makeup. I'm very sorry my camera doesn't want to zoom you guys. If I zoom in any closer, then it goes out of focus and I've been trying to fix it and it doesn't want to work. So we'll just have to do this very close up to the camera. Um, so I already did all my other makeup, my brows are done, everything. So all that's left is the eyes. So we are going to jump in. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a bit more of like the purpley shades and the mauve shades and then maybe a bit of a pink shimmer. We'll see what I come up with and I'm going to try to use this mirror. Um, the mirror is quite, it's quite nice so I'm going to try to use this and I'm very sorry if the mirror sort of comes into the um, camera view. Um, but let's just go on and get started. Okay, so I've already um, prepped and primed my eyes and everything, concealer, I've set it down with powder and everything, so we can just immediately go into a transition shade. So first I think I'm going to take this shade called Limits, this shade right here, and I'm going to put that uh, all over the lid and take it up, not all the way to the brow bone, but just a little bit above the crease. if the lighting is a bit wonky um, it's very cloudy outside so I'm trying to sit as close as possible to my window but still the lighting is very orangey um, so I'm sorry if I don't have very bright white lighting I hope the colors don't come out too different than uh, how they look in person so let's hope for the best okay now I'm going to go into the shade called Nuna the shade right here which is just a sort of purple nude brown um, Marvy color and I'm going to start buffing that into the crease If you guys have seen um, my fake up video where I mentioned this um, then you would have seen that I said the pigmentation of these aren't the best so you really have to work on them and build them up quite a lot to get to uh, the pigmentation that you need um, so for it to show up as it does in the pan um, but if you keep on building it up it does give quite a nice shade obviously not as good as the original um, the original palette would but I think this is not too bad for something that cost me what like 80 Rand see uh, that took me very long to build up that color it does show very not much on the camera um, 
but in reality when I look into the mirror I can really see that nice purple so I might show you guys later in a bit better lighting um, again very sorry about the lighting the camera just picks up the orange so much so it does look quite different um, but I hope that's okay for you guys. So now I'm going to start darkening up the outer part of my eye and also into the crease. So I'm going to use this shade called Dark Side, which is this very dark purpley shade. And I'm going to use that to darken up in the crease and the outer corner. From the uh, cut crease I'm just going to take a bit of concealer and I'm going to take this very small little brush this is also part of my fake up this is um, a detailer brush just this very small little brush I'm going to use this to carve out my crease didn't go all the way I only went to about two-thirds of the eye that I carved out my crease and now we are ready to put on the shimmers now I'm going to go in with some of the shimmery shades so I'm first going to start off with this very light pink shimmery shade called dust this one right here and I'm just going to pack that all over the concealer blending that out so then for just a pop of gold on the lid I'm going to go in with this golden shade it's called mug shot this shimmery golden shade and I'm just going to put a blob of that into the center of the lid use that mug shot color and I'm going to mix it in with a bit of a lighter pink shade this is a buzz again and I'm going to use that as the inner corner highlight For the brow bone highlights, I'm just going to go in with the lightest color again, strange, and just pack that onto the brow bone. Okay, guys, and then to finish off the eyes, we're just going to go in with some mascara. I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefit, which you guys know that now is my favorite mascara. So I'm just going to use that with a few coats on top and bottom. Is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, I'm very sorry for the orange sort of lighting. I did the best I could on this very cloudy day. I'm looking to um, purchase some good lighting, you know, just to improve the video quality and make it much more enjoyable for you guys to watch. So if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and leave me some comments down below how you guys felt about this look and if you guys would like to recreate them yourself, I'd really love to hear how you guys feel about this look haven't subscribed yet please 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 hit that subscribe button down below so that you won't miss out on any of the videos that I post you can even hit that little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video see you guys in my next video cheers hey guys I'm back again um, 
I just figured out um, why the camera was so messed up. So basically, it was in the wrong scene mode. It was in the, I think it was in landscape or something. That's why it took up so much of the sunlight and the orange and yellows um, to like make your landscapes look better or what, I don't know. Um, so now I put it back on one of the other settings that I guess I usually use because this looks better. Um, so as you guys can see, everything is a bit more white and you can actually see the purple and I can come close and it focuses so if you wanted to know this is how it looked up close so as you guys can see there you can see like all the purpley shades and the shimmer shade a whole lot better so I'm very sorry about that um, scene setting mode but now you guys can see how the colors actually show up I think it is beautiful colors and now you guys can see it as well um, so just again very sorry but I promise next time I will have it figured out and it will be in the right setting for the next video so I will see you guys with the right setting in my next video <laughs> cheers